I'm presenting, going to present it to you a project uh, on behalf of uh, several colleagues from the Indian area, especially Father Renoleva, who was um, the one in charge of um, carrying out this project um, at the national level, or the Spanish level. Now, just before, please. So, um, the project I'm going to talk about is called ODS, Open Discovery Space. And um, it's a three-year project. Um, there are 23 countries involved in the project, with more than 50 partners. And um, it addresses um, primary and secondary school education. Um, the project started in 2012 and it was going to end next year, in 2015, 2015. Oh, what's going on here? And uh, well, um, the project um, aims to create a socially powered and multilingual open learning infrastructure to boost the adoption of e learning resources. Um, what is the, the idea behind this? The idea behind this project is that in order to support learning, um, long life or no, long life learning, um, people, teachers, students, parents need to have access to different um, free available um, learning resources. And what we want to do is to create a network to give teachers students as well as parents access to different resources worked out not by editors but by interested people, by the teachers <coughs> themselves um, and the students. Um, so um, the main goals and challenges of these project of this project is to facilitate first of all the implementation of the digital agenda for Europe to effectively modernize education in the uh, European Union for all subjects and skills. So it, it doesn't address only language learning, which is my background, but it addresses also math, geography, computer science, uh, and, and other uh, materials which might be interesting for uh, primary and secondary education. Another goal and challenge is to increase innovation uh, potential of Europe throughout the production of um, new <coughs> learning tools, innovative learning tools, and to promote especially training activities. If you think about our educational system and um, background of our teachers, usually they are very busy with their everyday uh, teaching staff and um, don't have time to focus always on new learning devices to work on them and uh, to test them in the classroom. But they need sometimes um, support by, by other people who might have the time to design new learning tools and to test them uh, first in the class and then to um, give them the testing tools to, to try it out in their class or to adapt it to their learning or teaching circumstances. So this is one of the main ideas to uh, create a network um, involving teachers by giving them training sessions and familiarizing them with ICT, the use of them in the classroom and the possibilities um, they offer us uh, to create a new learning environment inside the classroom and outside the classroom. But we want them to get involved. We don't want just to offer them through a network new learning tools, but we want their feedback and to get them involved to create or to embrace learning to be offered them and um, to always improve well, the outcomes. So this is one of the, the main ideas, to engage teachers, students to get their feedback, and even parents um, which might want to have access to additional learning tools in order to support their kids um, at home to focus on some material which might be a weakness for the kids and, um, and which might 
need some reinforcement. Um, so the idea is to promote more flexible and creative ways of learning by improving the way educational content is produced, accessed and used. Um, the vision of the Open Discovery project is to provide through a web portal we are creating during the entire project to provide stakeholders with access to unique learning materials. What does it mean? Unique learning materials or resources are those who have already been tested, but which are not closed contents, but which might be tested in other circumstances, then revised, improved, and tested again. So we want really we want to <coughs> to give them good learning tools which have already been tested but which, might, but, but which might be improved in the future according to the last learning or teaching experience um, people involved in the project have had. Um, a, a very important step in this project is the assessment and evaluation made by people who have used the materials we um, upload on the, uh, on the web page. So um, we always offer teachers and students as well as um, parents to evaluate the activities we have developed or the um, learning materials <coughs> we have um, put on the web page to get their feedback and to, to decide what could be, be improved, who could be asked to improve these tools and what could be done in order to, to offer high quality at by the end of the project. Um, to give you an example, how does it work? Just to give you an, uh, I will give you an example from Irma, the last teacher from the Netherlands, who was looking for innovative teaching approaches and content. Well, she signed up in the ODS repository and had a look first at the comments and texts and bookmarks made by other teachers um, on the educational content they found. Then she becomes a member um, of the last group and stays in contact um, with the community existed at that moment, the ODS community, and well, started uh, communicating with them uh, through the web page and the different social networks included in the web page. And um, by the end, well, the ODS repository um, starts comment and recommending peer and contents to her interests um, following well, the interest she introduced when logging in for the first time. After this, once she became a member, um, she started following the different recommendations and even um, getting in touch with other colleagues from other countries but from the same area. They started working on, say, uh, on a common project and testing it with their students. Students liked the project and, well, and evaluated the project on the web portal and then well, other teachers became interested in it because it looked as it was a good and positive learning experience and it might be applicable to other living um, contexts. So this is the way um, the web portal is supposed to grow and to grow and to become um, a learning community or a portal for, for a bigger learning and teaching community and to be useful for teachers who might run out of time when they have to prepare a class <coughs> and uh, might look for innovative teaching teaching tools but are not able to, to work it um, by themselves. Okay. And the project has been carried <coughs> out in three different phases or stages. The first one uh, focused on the needs teacher might have and well, uh, in the different countries we are carrying out the project, we went to different schools, primary and secondary schools, we gave them questionnaires, um, we talked to them, we did interviews, um, trying to gather useful information about what are the needs 
what are they need parents have to support their uh, children's learning at home, what are our teachers' needs, and so on. So um, after gathering all this kind of feedback, we started working and putting content on the web page, um, offering this content to all interested people. And then well, we uh, contacted more and more schools and tried it out and gathered again the feedback by going again to the different schools and um, trying to figure out if these materials we put as an initiative, as a first step or stone um, on the web page were useful for them. And then we tried um, to invite them to use them um, more and more and to give us more feedback on what we could improve, on um, what they would need additionally. And well, the, the last stage is the one we are running now. And um, it's still a phase of development and giving and getting feedback from the teachers. But um, the aim of this stage is mainly to to check if, student, uh, if teachers are just comfortable with what uh, has been created on the web page and if they are able to carry out now by themselves just taking the tools we offered them before. The first two were more based on teacher training and student training and getting in touch with people, gathering feedback and working out well, new materials. And now it's going a little bit more easier and um, letting them go and um, being still there for the feedback and um, um, for the feedback they might need and um, to offer them the workshops they might require. Um, next one. Um, from this slide you can see well, um, all the resources available, which are quite enough. It's more than 66,000. Um, and the connected teachers are more than 500, and the teacher communities are more than 90. So I think it's quite enough. Um, these are all the groups involved. It's kind of difficult because the icons might be a little bit small, but well, um, there are many countries from Europe, the Netherlands, Poland, um, Italy, United Kingdom, and so on. Um, what we are going to do is, or what we want to do in terms of outcomes, is to work on guidelines for the design and implementation of effective resource-based education activities. It's very similar to what the colleague was saying, was talking about before. And um, we're to create large communities of schools in Europe in order to facilitate um, teachers and learners and students' access to what they need in order to succeed in their teaching and learning. And uh, we want also to provide them with a large collection of unique, innovative um, learning resources, all related and based on the use of ICT. Uh, what we did in Spain, which is well, the um, context I know a little bit more, is to go to different schools and to give workshops related to um, game-based learning, um, the use of mobile apps. Um, even we organized um, a workshop on Scratch you now, which is um, a computer language you now to design games or less yeah. And um, what we could observe was that there's really a, a big need to, to, um, to train teachers because of what I said before. Teachers don't have the time, don't have the skills to, to use these new technologies and uh, would like to use them because they know that their students in their free time really use new technology, they are very familiar with the new technologies, but it's not enough. If teachers are not familiar with these tools, it's very difficult to implement them in the classroom. But also, students, regardless of the knowledge they might bring from home, need some um, training. And this is what we made it in the last uh, year, going to different uh, schools, especially uh, secondary school, and offer teacher training, student training, 
and uh, we did it not one time, we did it twice or three times, going there again and going there again, organizing sometimes um, things like, um, I don't think it's in the Spanish competition, but it's different, no? Contest. Contest. A contest, a contest, to make it a little bit more engaging for the students, because they always want to get out of something out of this, you know. And as it was something um, voluntary, we did voluntarily, and the students got involved in this without getting a grade, we offered them a kind of com a contest, and then we gave prizes, and, uh, well, tried to, to engage them a little bit in, in using these new tools for their learning, and um, bringing them in touch with how does it work, what's the, uh, Learning idea behind social uh, <coughs> education, such as virtual goods, video game like education, or mobile. <coughs> so, this is mainly what we did in this project. Uh, but this is what I summarized um, in the next one. The next one, the last one, I would like to refer more to Fomma, which is really the one who is in charge of this project, who would like to get in touch with more people interested in this uh, project and um, contributing to the web portal. Um, you could have a look at um, this direction and um, just to figure out um, how many places and which places are involved in this project, what is that the uh, platform offer, which kind of teacher training, when does the teacher or um, parents' training take place because they can see a schedule. You can see one uh, on the 20th of October or whatever in Barcelona there's a teacher training or a parents' training or both together. And what does it, uh, the course offer? And you can go there, it's, it's available, or to get, you can get in touch with the phone line who might give you some additional information related to your interest because as I said at the beginning it's not only focusing on technologies, um, applied uh, language learning, but um, it tries to to address very different uh, materials and, and, and areas and even ages um, um, skills, levels, so it, it might depend on what you are interested in. Um, what, what you're looking for, and uh, according to this, you could have a look at the page where you have time available and get in touch with the farmer.